family welcome back to our credit healing channel so today we're going to be discussing with you what you can do as it relates to a letter that you have received from experian transunion and or equifax regarding them stating that it appears though that a third party company or an unauthorized company has sent the letter on your behalf and they're unsure if you are aware of it now this is just simply a tactic that they use oftentimes to try not to remove the item from your credit report but we want you to know what you can do to actually resolve this quickly so basically once you have received this letter and we've also attached the letter inside of the thumbnail if you are unaware of it once you have received it they will tell you okay well can you call us to verify that you are sending out this letter plain and simple now before you send out any more letters make sure to call them because if you send out more letters uh, to dispute they're going to send out the same thing you should not have to call they do this sometimes uh periodically as relates to just trying to prolong and postpone the process to remove negative items so this is just simply a tactic that they're using but you don't want to fall into the trap so what you're going to do is you're going to call them after you call them they're going to ask you a few verification questions once you verify your identity the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to let them know well i sent out a letter and i received this letter regarding and you can read the letter to them and uh, basically i sent out this uh this dispute and i should not have received this okay my letter should be and my account should be under investigation and we want you to resolve this quickly they're going to then look at your account and then they're going to ask you uh do you want to dispute over the phone so there are two options the first option is this you can tell them no i don't want to dispute over the phone i just want you to know that i'm sending out these letters and i do not want to receive any more of these letters if i do then i'm going to escalate and we're going to sue you because obviously you're supposed to uh investigate this particular dispute based on federal laws and we don't want to have to go there okay so you can just tell them no that's the first thing and then you'll send out the next round of letters okay now if you want to go ahead and proceed with it this is the strategy now you can say yes i would like for you all to dispute online or over the phone so let's go ahead and dispute now this is the thing do not allow them to dispute based on how they want to dispute let them know this listen closely say before you dispute i want to know what letters you receive okay and then they're going to say, well, I received a letter. Uh, this letter is dated X, Y, and Z. And then you say, yes, that's the letter that I sent you. Now, before you dispute, attach this letter to the dispute that you're going to be filing over the phone. Do not allow them to file any disputes without attaching the letter or the dispute letter that you sent to them. Okay. So the second thing is make sure that if you do dispute over the phone, that you don't allow them to dispute based on how they want to dispute because when we send out our letters our letters are already disputed in a specific way this is why we're successful for those of you who are using our diy credit healing machine if they send this letter to you just call them and if you want to go ahead and uh, have them proceed with that specific round without having to send out another round of letters tell them that you would like for them to dispute it but attach the dispute letter to the disputes that they're going to be filing okay so that's what we, we want you all to know. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at credithealing at gmail.com. If you're ready to get started, go to www.credithealing.org. Peace. In 30 days. 100 points. This is what I got for you. I'm here to give a testimonial about credit.